Hey y'all, I'm getting ready to wash my hair and I decided I'm going to show you what I do um, for my night and morning routine for my um, wash and go. I don't do traditional wash and goes too often because I don't like to sit in a dryer and I never have time for my hair to dry. It takes like forever. So what I normally do, um, you know, depending on how much time I have or how I want my hair to look, I'll um, wash my hair at night. And then I just put leave-in conditioner in it, braid it up, um, and tie it up with a satin scarf and go to bed. And then in the morning I'll get up and use a Donna Marie Dream Curling Cream because you can use that on dry hair. Um, mixed with Curl Junkie Curl Queen. Uh, and that kind of helps keep my hair frizz free. Um, so what I'm going to show you tonight is... The start, where when I get out of the shower, I'll show you what my natural hair looks like without any product in it. And then I'll show you how I'll put my leave-in conditioner in. And then I'll come back to you in the morning and show you what I do with the Donna Marie Dream Curling Cream. So stay tuned if you're interested. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I just got done washing my hair. My hair is still soaking wet. Nothing in it. There might be a little bit of leave-in still left in it, but... I mean, I'm sorry, of uh, rinse out conditioner still left in it, but not a huge amount. I try to rinse everything out. Anyway, this is how my natural curl pattern looks. It's much looser in the front than in the back. Um, I know a lot of my friends always say, oh, my hair is so tight in the back, and they don't know how to make it mix, but my hair is like that too. And you really, you know, these are for my friends that are transitioning scared to do the big chop and I'm just like you know it's gonna look totally different when you cut it you'll be able to blend it once you get tang of it okay so this is this a lot tighter in the back all right so today for my leave-in which I pretty much use every single time I'm using um curl junkie beauty curls argan olive oil conditioner see that and this one can be used as a leave-in and a rinse out, but I don't rinse it out. I, I just use it as a leave-in. So I usually split my hair into four sections. It just ended up in three somehow this time. So for this big section, I'm going to put about this much in, in the back. And I kind of just spread it all over first, making sure I get my ends really good. And then I comb through it a little bit with my fingers. And my hair has already been detangled in the shower with the um, comb, so I might have a little bit of shared hair, but um, shouldn't be too much. Alright. I'm actually going to stop it right here because I think everybody knows how to put in leave-in conditioner in their hair. Um, so I um, will come back once my hair is, once I have the leave-in conditioner all over my hair, show you my little braids that I put it in, and then I'll be back in the morning to show you the rest. See you look. Hey see guys, later. good morning. Um, I'm back about to take out the little braids of, or twist I put in last night and go ahead and I do my hair for the wash and go. So all I'm going to be using is the Don Marie Dream Curling Cream. That's going to be my main product. Um, this product is a creamy texture, kind of like a pudding texture. It smells like cake. It smells so good. Um, on top of that, I'll be putting Curl Queen by Curl Junkie. And this is a medium hold gel. The, by itself, the Donna Marie doesn't give me um, enough hold for it to last like more than a day. So I put the Curl Queen on top of it and I usually get about three days without having to do much to it. Um, and then at the end I'll come back and put in the curls in the bottle just in my um, crown area and on my ends because those are the parts that, that tend to get frizzy. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to start with this first section and just unravel the twist. And I'm lazy so you see how much hair is in that one section for me? Also, my hair is not super thick. Um, it's never been super thick, so I can get away with that. But if you need to use smaller sections, then be my guest. So my hair is still slightly damp. Um, 
let's see this part here has kind of dried out so I'm going to spray a little bit of water in there but I only do that um, that usually only happens near the roots it kind of dries out the ends pretty much stay wet which explains why I never do twist outs because they take forever to dry okay so that's wet enough for me okay so for this side section I usually take about this much product Rub that together in my hands, and then I'm just gonna start out with smoothing it through, just like I put in leave-in conditioner or anything. Kind of focusing on the ends, and then I'm gonna kind of rake my fingers through. Okay. Again, making sure I get my ends well. Okay, so that feels like it's uh, thoroughly coated and I just go by feel on how much to put on sometimes if I put too much on I won't get flakes or anything it just um, makes it a little bit harder for me to fluff out um, which I do once it's fully dry and it's because it's just way down more and personally I like my hair bigger um, because when it hangs it's kind of an awkward limp so it really doesn't look right now this is my curl queen I'm putting on now in the same way um, I forgot to show you how much, but I'll show you, um, it was probably about a quarter size, uh, less than a quarter size, about a nickel size amount, so not very much. Alright, so as you can see, it makes some of my hair kind of straight when I slick it through. And that's not heat damage. It's just that the product is heavy and my hair is pretty light. So that's why I don't put very much on. That will um, straighten itself out though as we go along. This is also, this section here also is kind of one of my straighter sections anyway. So it might look a little bit worse than what it actually is. But at the end, um, you'll see how it looks. So I'm going to finish the rest of my hair. Um, I'll come back when I put, when I'm getting ready to put my curl, um, curls in a bottle on at the very end. Okay, so I'm back. Um, this is what my hair looks like when it's completely covered with the Donna Marie and the Curl Queen. I'm sorry, my dog is hearing stuff outside. So now at this point, I go ahead and uh, take my curls in a bottle. And I put about a quarter size amount, so that much. I don't know if you can see it, but it'll fall out of my hands. <laughs> I just rub my palms together. And then I begin to tap it in these areas like so. So mainly I want like to focus on my crown and the ends in front of my hair just because they have the uh, tendency to frizz up first. And then once I do that, I kind of just smooth it all over my hair. Make sure I get the back and my edges. And then that's pretty much it for now. So that process of me putting the Dream Curling Cream and the gel on um, only took me about 10 minutes. And that's probably because I was talking to y'all. <laughs> so at this point, I just go ahead and let my hair air dry. Um, my hair was not soaking wet. It was just damp, barely damp um, when I started. So it'll probably take about three hours before my hair is dry enough for me to fluff it out. I will um, come show you what it is when I get ready to fluff it out, and then you'll see how it looks on the first day um, before I go to work. All right, see you later. Okay, I'm back, and my hair is comp ah, for the most part dry. This part here always takes the longest, and it's still a little bit wet. Um, we'll just damp, but it's I would say 95% dry. So I'm um, get ready to go to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and fluff it out. I'm just gonna. Um, put some jojoba oil, just 100% pure jojoba oil in my hands. Um, the oil I use just depends on how I feel, it really doesn't matter. So I rub that all on my hands, all over. First I try to pat it through and then I just begin to pull. I just do this because I like it bigger, a little bit frizzier than it is. Um, just 
right after I wash it. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the first day. So it's still pretty tight because um, I don't want to mess it up too much. But it will loosen up as the days go on. So I'll probably try to insert some pictures at the end. If I don't, then I'll link it in my blog, which is below. Um, some pictures of like second and third day here. Alright, thanks.